Hey everyone, Caffeine Man here. And now that the holidays are coming to a close, I know that I, I, I was not good. Even though I was dieting throughout 2019, I finished off the year cheating a lot. But it's the holidays, so you go off plan, you jump right back on in January. I know a lot of people are getting ready to do their New Year's resolutions. And a very popular resolution is to lose weight. So can caffeine help you lose weight? It's coming right up. Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you want to stay informed on all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night. And in today's video, well, today is New Year's Day. So happy new year to all my subscribers and all of you watching this video. I wish you the best for 2020. And let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna be making a New Year's resolution this year. I'm always curious what New Year's resolutions people have because I don't actually do any. But let me know in the comments down below. And if you're looking to lose weight in 2020, can caffeine help you lose weight? And it's definitely a valid question. I mean, the concept of actually exercising and dieting isn't usually the first method of losing weight because people don't wanna do those things. They usually want to look for some kind of magic pill to help them lose weight. I mean, it's the year 2020. Clearly, there should be out there that makes us magically lose weight. I mean, to people my age, 2020 is a very futuristic number. I mean, people used to diet and exercise way back like in the 80s. It was so popular that people used to actually have special outfits. They used to have special leg warmers that they wear. They even had like full spandex outfits just for working out. I mean, even Olivia Newton-John did a whole video about getting physical. Am I going? Am I going way too far back? I'm sorry. But even back then, they had diet pills which usually contain caffeine. So you'd think by now, they'd have a special pill to help you lose weight. So do we have any magic diet pills now? Well, I'm sorry to inform you that the diet pills we have today probably lose weight just like they did in the 80s. No magic here. All kidding aside though, the supplement market has made great strides in making much better products. With technology nowadays, and all the stuff that we've learned in the last few decades, supplements have become a lot more amazing. But they're still not gonna help you lose weight unless you exercise and or diet. And what about caffeine alone? Well, caffeine's actually used in a lot of diet pills. So can caffeine help you lose weight? Well, it can. So let's delve deeper into this topic. Obviously, you probably already know that caffeine helps boost your metabolism. In turn, it raises resting metabolic rate as well as help you raise energy levels. Therefore, if you're gonna be exercising, caffeine is a great way to help you lose weight. Normally, when you work out, your body turns to sugar and carbohydrates as fuel. But when you have caffeine before working out, you actually burn fat for fuel. That's right, our bodies will turn to fatty acids for fuel just from taking caffeine. And the reason for that is that caffeine actually raises your levels of adrenaline, which is a hormone that stimulates your fat cells to release fatty acids into your bloodstream, where they can then be used by your cells for energy. Caffeine has also been shown to increase thermogenesis, which helps you burn more calories. Drinks such as Celsius Heat and the new soon to the market Rain Inferno promote this kind of advertising in their product. And it's a great way to sell your product to the right crowd. I mean, first, when you hear the word thermogenesis, that's just an awesome sounding word. I mean, let me rephrase that. When you hear thermogenesis, that word is just lit. And it makes you wanna know more about that word. And when you find out more about that word, you find out why it's lit. So what is thermogenesis? Thermogenesis is basically the production of heat. And when talking about supplements, it's the increase in body temperature that helps you burn calories. <laughs> Literally, you burn off the calories, which is why it's lit. Because as your body's getting harder, you're literally burning off calories. Literally, that's just awesome. But you don't become too hot. You're not gonna get feverish or anything. If anything, your body temperature increases by about a half a degree, which is just enough for thermogenesis to burn off extra calories. So all of this is in relation to caffeine and exercising. So yes, caffeine can help you lose weight if you work out, but will caffeine help you lose weight if you just have caffeine and sit on the couch doing nothing? And no, it won't. Caffeine doesn't make you lose weight on its own. Caffeine helps you lose weight in combination with something else, such as exercise or dieting. 
But what about that lit word thermogenesis you were talking about? If that increases your body temperature, even if you're not doing anything, shouldn't you burn calories? Well, research has found that every milligram of caffeine that you take helps burn an additional 0.1 calories in the following 24 hour period. That means if you take a 200 milligram caffeine pill, you'll burn an additional 20 calories throughout the day if you're not doing anything. So not much really at all. But if you combine it with exercise, those numbers will begin to multiply. And another reason why caffeine won't do much for you if you're just gonna be sitting around doing nothing is because of caffeine tolerance. It's something I haven't really talked about much on my channel, but I wanted to delve into it a little bit today. When you begin taking higher doses of caffeine on a regular basis, you'll begin to build up a tolerance to it and that same amount of caffeine will have a less effect. For example, if you were to take 400 milligrams of caffeine for three months straight, that same 400 milligrams of caffeine will have less effect at the three month mark than it did in the first week. So the same amount of caffeine will be less effective because your body is beginning to tolerate that amount. So how do you avoid caffeine tolerance? To avoid caffeine tolerance, you need to cycle your caffeine, which is something that I do on a regular basis. If you're gonna be supplementing with caffeine because you plan on working out, you're gonna to wanna to try and cycle it. So let's say you plan on working out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and you're gonna have about 300 milligrams of caffeine, maybe 400 milligrams of caffeine. Then on days that you don't work out, such as Tuesday and Thursday, you're gonna to wanna to drastically reduce it to about 100 to 200 milligrams. That way you have a different amount of caffeine, a less amount of caffeine, so your body doesn't get used to it. And when it does come to working out and caffeine helping work out, the average recommended amount is about 200 to 300 milligrams of caffeine to be most effective, but some people do go up to 400 milligrams. And as I've said in previous videos, 400 milligrams is the maximum recommended amount by the Mayo Clinic and the FDA, so you shouldn't go over 400 milligrams per day. In general, I always cycle my caffeine. It's just part of my everyday cycle. It's a common misconception that Caffeine Man, because of my name and because of all the videos I do on energy drinks, that I consume a gram of caffeine a day and I'm as steady as a rock. And that's just untrue. My average intake per day is about 300 to 600 milligrams. And on days that I hit 600 milligrams, I try to back up to 200 milligrams the next day so that I don't become tolerant to it. Therefore, I'm always varying my caffeine levels on a day-to-day -day basis. Have I gone above 600 sometimes? Yes, I have but I've made sure to go down on it the very next day because I like to average out those numbers. So when it comes down to it, caffeine, caffeine pills, diet pills, and all those sorts of supplements to help you lose weight are just that. They are supplements. And just by definition of supplement, the word supplement means to complete or enhance something else when added to it. And in all these cases, these diet pills are meant to supplement things such as exercise or diet, but mostly exercise. So to answer the question, can caffeine help you lose weight? On its own, no. But in combination with exercise, yes. I hope you found this information useful. As Caffeine Man, I like to keep you informed on all things caffeine related. And although I do a lot of energy drink reviews, I'd like to break up that monotony a little bit by adding informative caffeine videos. And today seemed to be the perfect time for it because I know a lot of people make New Year's resolutions to lose weight. So if that's your New Year's resolution, I wish you the best of luck with that. And to all of you in all your New Year's resolutions, I wish you the best of luck. Happy New Year to you. Happy 2020 to everybody out there watching this today or whenever you watch this. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you every Tuesday during 2020. And until my next video, have yourselves a great day or night. So what do you guys think of the shirt, huh? You like it? I definitely had my problems with Teespring early on. What I should have done was get a lot more samples before I presented it to you guys. But I know some of you were looking for Christmas gifts and were hoping for me to have my merch by Christmas. So I kind of rushed it a little bit. But things have been getting better. I've been in contact with them. They're working on some of the issues. And the product really is starting to look good. I actually really like this sweatshirt. This is the premium hoodie. It's got like a nice fleece inside. It's wicked soft. It feels kind of thin at first, but man, it's, it's really warm. I don't like that they actually have white strings for some reason. The classic hoodies have a string that actually matches the rest of it, but I do like the feel of these premium hoodies. As for the t-shirts, I'm still working on the classic t-shirts. For some reason, on the classic t-shirts, when I uploaded the design, there was like a little fade line on the top so we're in the process of fixing that not sure when it's going to be resolved hopefully in the next week or two but all of the other t-shirts 
all of the other hoodies, all of the other tank, everything else doesn't have a problem with that faded line. It's just the classic tees. That's it. I just want to give you guys an update on the merch situation. I know I was complaining about it recently, but things are getting better. And if you actually do have a quality issue, they're actually really good about resolving it. Just take a picture of the issue and they'll send you a new one. So I am happy with the customer service in that regard. So if you're looking for some caffeine merch, there should be a banner down below to take you to Teespring. And I tried to get things competitively priced with the other people sell their merch for because I prefer to get you a good quality product at a decent price as opposed to making like tons of money or something. I prefer you guys to have good stuff.